In this video, I'm going to show you how to download an audio file from a website and then import it into your GarageBand project here on your iPhone or iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. Now, I'm here at freesound.org, which is one of my favorite places to download loops and samples and beats and other sounds that you can use in your project. And here in iOS 13, we now have the ability to download straight into our download manager here in Safari. So all I've done is logged into freesound.org. You just need to create a free account and then I'm going to download this sound. I've just got this drum break here at 1.30 BPM. Let's hit play and take a listen to this one and see what it sounds like. There it is. So this is the sound that we want. We don't want it twice, but this is the sound that we want. So what we need to do is scroll down and hit the download button here in Safari. Once again, we're in our Safari browser. We've just gone to freesound.org and here's the cool thing in iOS 13. We now have a download manager. So if we hit download, instead of it playing back the sound like it used to in previous iOS versions, it will now download that sound. Now, if you're on iOS 12 or an earlier version, check the link up the top and in the description. There are ways to download using earlier versions. They're just a few more steps. Steps. But if you're on iOS 13 or iPad OS, then you're going to be able to download. So that is done now. Let's now jump over to GarageBand and import this into a project. So I have a blank project here in GarageBand. Now, the first thing that I want to do is to actually make sure that my settings are right to bring in this sound. So I'm going to go into the top right here and tap on the settings icon. And because I know this is a 130 BPM tempo, I can tap this to go up or I can tap and hold and drag up to get it up there to 130 BPM. So that tempo is now going to be right. Now, I also may want to change the number of bars. So if I tap in this plus button here in the top right, I can then adjust the number of bars in this section. So let's say we wanted to to actually make this a 16 bar loop. So we've put that up to 16 and there we go. Our project is now prepared and ready for us to bring in this loop. So let's do that now. To import our loop, we simply tap on the loop icon in the top right here. And now if it's in Apple loops over here, just tap across to files. And then down the bottom here, what we wanna do is browse the items from the files app. So I'm gonna tap on that one and it's gonna bring me into my files structure here. Now where it saves these downloads is we're gonna to need to tap in the top left here and go all the way back to our opening locations. If we scroll down under favorites, you'll have a downloads folder. You won't have it there until you start downloading things, but if you've downloaded in Safari like we have, you'll have this here. So all we need to do now is find this file, which is right here. We're gonna tap on that one and that will import it into our GarageBand file transfer folder ready for us to use. There it is, it's a WAV file, which is one of the supported files. So we'll tap and we'll drag that across We'll drop it here into this track here, and there it is, it's ready to go. If we hit play on this one now, And because it's at 130 BPM, that two bar loop, it sits perfectly on our grid. So that's really cool. And in fact, what we can now do is tap it, tap it again, hit the loop button here, and now it's gonna loop right through our 16 bars. So there you go, we've brought in a very cool drum beat that we wouldn't have been able to create, or we may be able to, but we can bring it in. And you can do this with any sounds, any beats, any melodic sounds, any samples, any one shot samples, voice samples, whatever you find anywhere that you can download it. So you can go to, a website like freesound.org and download your sounds, you can then bring them across. Now they do need to be in a WAV, MP3 or AIF or M4A format. So some of the FLAC files or some 32-bit files may not be supported. So just try it and you'll very quickly be able to learn which ones will and won't work here in GarageBand. So let's quickly recap exactly how we do this. We find the file that we want here. We hit the download button here, which will kick in the download manager right here in Safari. So it'll pop up after a couple of seconds, we hit download and then there you go. The download manager will put it into our downloads folder. All we then need to do is come over to GarageBand, tap on our loops icon here, tap the browse items here, and then make sure we navigate right to our downloads folder here. We can then bring in any files that we've actually downloaded. We'll just find a different one here 
here and tap on that one. If it's on your iCloud, it'll just download like this. And then once that's done, it's going to bring it straight across into your files here. It's going to be ready to go. And there it is. All we now need to do is tap and drag, bring it into your project. You're good to go. I hope you found this useful. There's two more videos down below all about managing files and importing in GarageBand. And if you want to subscribe, click or tap on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.